hello guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we will gonna see how to publish a GeoTIFF file which is which has been hosted onto the cloud such as s3 bucket of aws through GeoServer. like in my earlier video i have i have shown you how to convert the normal GeoTIFF file to the cloud optimize GeoTIFF, and how to upload onto the cloud and then how to access those files either through the desktop uh, gis such as qgis and also how to directly render it onto the web using the open layers api without any in between any server but today we'll see if you want to host this file to the geo server basically you want to expose this cloud optimized geotiff file to the geo server and then you want to consume on your web application using wms or wmts service kind of thing so we'll see so um, by default uh, geo server has an option of consuming the geotiff file but not like if a file is hosted onto the cloud so that is called cloud optimized geotiff but there is no option so there is a plugin that is not a stable plugin but yeah uh, so plugin is available so we have to first install the plugin of geo server and then we can use that plugin for publishing the geotiff file cloud optimized geotiff file through geo server so we're gonna see how to do that so first of all you must have geo server installed in your system so like i have already installed Geo server install so you can go to the Google and type Geo server and you can install either the um, Windows installer directly or you can have a var file and you can deploy it into a um, in Tomcat kind of server. So I have deployed this into a Tomcat server. So this is my version called 2.20.3. So I will log in this admin using the password username and password. So right now I'll show you there is no option uh, there is option for GeoTIFF but there is no option for cloud uh, cloud optimized GeoTIFF. So if I let me just zoom it a bit like this. So if I go to store and if I create a new store, like if I add a new store, so there is an option called GeoTIFF. So right now just you uh, have to give the path of that file but there is no option for cloud optimized geotiff so first of all we will install the plugin so just we will go on the google and simply we will type uh, cog plugin for geo server so this first link will click on that so we'll go to it how to basically do that we'll click here and then there is an option called uh, here you can see the package needs to be downloaded from the nightly build we'll click here because right now it's not a stable plugin that's why otherwise it will be uh, it will be uh, definitely will be given on to the geo server direct uh, downloads if you go on the geo server uh, and if you go for geo server website directly here download and if you just click here so a lot of extensions are here but you will not find that um, the plugin of uh, cloud optimized geotiff so if you go on plugins like this so you not you will not because that plugin is right now it's not stable that's why so we have to go to this to this link only uh, this build.geoserver.org slash geoserver so here there is a versions are there so like my version of geoserver is uh, as I already shown you 2.20 so I will click on 2.20 inside this we have you, you just go to the community latest and after that if the plugin becomes stab stable then it will move to the latest one so we'll go to the community latest and here you will find the COG plugin geo server 2.20 snapshot cog plugin so we can click and we can download this plugin so already i have downloaded it it's a 10 mb file so i have already here this is the plugin let me just this is the plugin 2.20 snapshot cog i will just extract the files of this So now what to, inst uh, to install this plugin what we have to do first we have to just copy all these jar files and we have to copy these file these files we just go to the 
uh, geo server installation directory program files like i have deployed it var file into the tomcat so i will go to tomcat web apps if you have directly installed you just go to the geo server folder and geo server directly you can go to that and web inf and this lib folder you can just paste all those files there and after that just you have to restart your geo server in my case i will restart my tomcat in in your case you can restart your geo server if you have installed the uh, windows uh, exe file so now our server has been st stopped now again we will start the server so in your case you just start the geo server so basically we have to after copying the files we have to restart our geo server so in my case i have deployed geo server into tomcat so just i am uh, restarted my service tomcat service so now we will again uh, we will just refresh it so now we have again restarted our uh, geo server service so we will just again login so you, you just have to see your version instance and then you have to uh, basically download for your particular version so i have downloaded for 2.20 so now now we will create a new store we'll go click on the store and we'll add, we'll create add new store and when we will cre uh, click on geotiff so we should get an option like we get an option of cloud optimized geotiff so for that uh, let me just first you can select the workspace let me select india you can give any name let me just give name so let me just first log into my AWS login. So in my earlier video, I have you can go go through my just uh, last video where I have shown how to upload your geo, uh, cloud optimized GOT file onto the cloud and how to access that. So I will just uh, log into my account. So you can go go through my earlier video for all conversion of the GOT file to the cloud COG and then how to upload and how to consume that file into the QGs and QGIS and all so let me just sign in so this is a free tier account i have created anyone can create a free tier account <coughs> so you can also create your free tier account so here uh, i have logged in so it is showing recently view. otherwise you can search here as three bucket you can uh, search from here also like s3 bucket like from here so now this is my s3 bucket so i will just click on these are the two buckets i have created i'll just click on this cog 2022 and i have created a folder cog but before that what i will do right now i have made it the private so i will not be able to access without username and password so what i will go i'll go to the permission i will make it uh, public first and i will save changes so you can go through my earlier video for all these settings and all i have explained it how to make it public what are the settings you have to do so now i have made <coughs> my bucket uh, public so now i will go uh, cog and this is the folder cog inside the two files are there so what i will do i will just select one of the uh, geotiff file and i will just copy url let me just show you what is this file basically add layer raster layer so for adding this file just i have to select here and copy url and i can uh, uh, i can select this protocol http and just simply i will give url and I, I can see this file in the qgis so this is the file this is the image we have and you can change all the band combination and all you can do this like 432 so this is the file so <coughs> so what we have done we just again copy this url of this file and here i will give the name let me just give the name fatehabad and just inside the url you just copy paste just select this cloud, uh, cloud optimized geotiff and paste the url and here right now i have made it public so no need of this access id and all that otherwise you can go for s3 bucket then you can give this access id if your data is private but right now we'll select this link because we have made that public and just we'll simply save it so after saving it we should be able to see 
you will get the option to publish this file so we are able to access this file from here and we will simply publish it and right now here you can just uh, EPSG 4.3 directly it is taking you can select the native um, bounding box here while publishing we have to give the styling to it so what we can do for styling for creating FCC this kind of thing what we can do you can go on to the properties you can simply style you can save this style and you can style save this to uh, let me just style dot and select the SLD file so it's a good way of SLD file so right now we have uh, saved this style dot SLD file so we can style our layer also so it's a very convenient way of do the styling you just open your shape file or raster file in the QGIS and you can create ISLD and then you can inside the GU server you can copy paste this style directly so let me show you how to do that so right now let me just save it first so here in, inside the layer preview let me just show you the image first how image looks like this is the image and I will click open layers just layer preview and just click on the open layers you will be able to see the image okay so where is that so this is how image looks so we have to change the style of it so what we will do for that we'll just go to the under the style section we'll just create a, add a new style and let me just create a name let me just create Fateha Bad only any name you can give and you can choose the upload a file so we have already downloaded this is style.sld file so we'll just directly upload but yeah I know this this will throw some error and it was it was creating some problems so I'm very late so it will throw this error so for that what we will do we will remove this contrast enhancement and uh, this for all the three bands like here contrast and enhancement we will remove this and here also contrast enhancement we will remove basically we are uh, in this what we are doing I don't know why it's throwing some error because onto the geo server help and documentation documentation also this is the way to do the stretching or normalizing basically you are stretching the uh, these values DN we are playing with the DN values to make the visualization better so I don't know why it, it was creating problem so but to remove that problem I have just removed this normalization like algorithm stretch to minimum maximum mini what should be the minimum value maximum value so it will make 862 to 0 and 1440 to the 255 so it will basically stretch these value between 0 and 225 or 255 for the just for the visualization purpose so I'll just remove this because it, is thro it was throwing some error it should not do but so right now only let me just remove this so what it is doing we are we are using four three two and band so false color composite we are using because our image is having four bands blue green red and nir so we are passing our, uh, this nir band to the red channel uh, red channel to the green red band to the green and then green to the blue channel and if i validate it now so it will be no error and i'll save it and after that what i will do i will go to my layers and I will go to the Fatehabad layer and just in under publishing tab I will select this one where is this let me just see the ok I don't know what I think name has been changed let me just check the name again of that style I think there is some problem um, ok the name was style because we have uploaded the styles SLD so it has given the name style only so we will change it to the Fatehabad and we will again save it so now again we will go to the layer and Fatehabad under the publishing tab we will simply select Fatehabad this one and we'll just save it and now we will go to the layer preview again and we will click here we should able to see the FCC false color composite so now as you can see uh, see the image 
in the FCC. So like this, you can publish uh, the layer, uh, COG layer through GeoServer. And now, uh, as you have published the layer inside GeoServer, you can consume this layer as a WMS or Tile WMS or WMTS service. You can consume consume in your web application very easily. You can using this link or WMS service. You can you can use uh, to put in in any web map kind of thing. So I think that's it, guys, from this video. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up to the video and please subscribe the channel and do uh, put a comment in the section. So if you face any problem, I will try to help you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching.